Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the Barrier Soul mini quest. And the reason why this mini quest is so useful is because it gives you the Soul Bear item, which allows you to send insult heads that you get from doing Slayer tasks straight to the bank, which basically saves you inventory spaces when you're doing Slayer tasks. If you want to read more about this item, I will link it in the description box below. But I'm going to right now show you guys how to do this mini quest in about 5 to 10 minutes. What you want to bring in your inventory is a couple of stamina potions, items to get to the Arceus library. So my fastest way is by using the fairy ring code CIS and that will bring you just north of the library and then you can run south. I brought with me a Draymond staff and I'll be using the fairy ring inside my house. If you don't have the fairy ring code unlocked, I also highly recommend that you bring 80,000 coins with you and speak to Trossa to unlock the fairy ring permanently because it will be useful in this guide as well. So if you are running from the Pissarillia stocks, like I said, you'll end up right over here. Just run northwest past the library, which is right over here, and then go to the fairy ring and you'll see an NPC called Trossa. Pay her 80,000 coins and that fairy ring will be unlocked permanently for you. Other than that, I'm bringing with me a couple of teleports to the house, a spade. I'm also bringing with me a dusty key. If you have 70 agility or if you have 65 agility and use a plus 5 boost using a summer pie, you do not need to bring a dusty key with you. If you don't have the dusty key, I'll show you guys on screen how to get it, but you want to get to Terrily Dungeon and run all the way to the Black Knight's base. You might want to bring a stamina potion with you, but what you want to do is you want to kill the Jailer once you get there, and it'll drop the Jail key. Use the Jail key on the southern door to access Belrac the Explorer. Ask if there's anything to explore in the dungeon. Say yes please, and it'll give you a dusty key. I'm also bringing with me an anti-dragon shield, a Falador teleport, or you can bring a Taverly teleport. We will need this later for getting to the Taverly dungeon. If you're lower level, you can also bring with you an anti-poison as well as a couple of sharks because there will be some aggressive poison spiders that you will need to pass, but overall it doesn't do too much damage. So once you have all these items in your inventory, you're also going to want to be on the Runelight client because it is currently the fastest way of finding books in the Arceus library. If you don't use the Runelight client, it can take like an hour or two hours to find the book. Whereas if you use the Runelight client, it can take up to like two to five minutes to run around the Arceus library to find the book. So I highly recommend that you get it. I'll post the download link to the client in the description box below. But if for some reason you choose not to use the client, you can also manually find the book in the Arceus library by using the Wooks method, which I will not be covering in this guide how to do that method, but I will link in the description box below an article for finding the book manually without the use of the client. So now that we got all that all the way, I'll now show you guys where I am in the world map. So I'm in the Arceus library right now. Like I said, the fastest way of getting here is by using the fairy ring code CIS and then running south. So when you're at the Arceus library and if you have the rune like client, Basically, there's a really nice feature in the client which allows you to solve where each of the books could be in the library. And it just speeds up the process of finding the book called Soul's Journey. And that's the one you're trying to look for. So what you're trying to do once you get to the uh, library is you want to search these white squares. And these are just possible locations for where a book could be. You'll see in the chat box that you might not find anything useful. So it's a little bit of, uh, you know, trial and error. You will have to keep searching all these bookcases and then... As you search them, these white squares will disappear. So I'll just fast forward the clip and there we go. We found our first book actually. And we got the book called Rida's Senses. You will probably find a different book, but it really doesn't matter. Basically the Rune Light Client, you'll see a lot of the white squares have disappeared because it basically shows you some of possible locations for where books could be already. So you'll see some bookshelves that look like this now. You'll see some white squares with like four books or three books or five books. Just search that bookshelf and that'll basically give some more information for the rune like client. But uh, just keep searching all the bookcases like these ones. There might be a couple of these uh, twos that you don't really know what it is. And that's called Richter's Diary. So uh, right now you just want to look around the whole library. You're trying to look for a book called Soul's Journey. If you also want to as well, you can look for the book called Transportation Incantations. That book is also very useful. Uh, all you need to do is open up the Transportation Incantations book. And uh, if you have 69 magic, you can use that spell, uh, the Teleport to Karen spell. So anyways, I'll fast forward the clip here until I find the book called Soul's Journey. And then uh, I'll show you guys if I can find it. Alright, so I ran around the library quite a bit, but we did find the book called Soul Journey. So you can just go ahead and search the bookshelf and that will give you the book. What you want to do is just read it. You can go through some of the dialogue until you hit page, I think, 16 or something like that. Uh, just keep clicking and then you can exit out. 
So now that you read the book Soul Journey, we're going to need to now go to the Soul Altar and I'll show you guys how to get there, but uh, you can just exit out of the library and run north. I'm going to be using the Fairy Ring code CIS, so I'll meet you guys there once I get there. So I'm at the Fairy Ring right now, so I'll show you guys how to get to the person named Arthias. So I just closed out the mini map and you guys can just follow me. But from the Fairy Ring, you just want to run east. And you'll see a break in the path once we get to the Dark Altar, so just keep running east. You'll pass some skeletons that are non-aggressive. You'll see something on your mini map. There we go. There's like a purple sign with a spell book sign. So once we get here, you want to run northeast through this path. It's kind of difficult to see, but uh, just keep running east. Past these pillars on the northern side here. And then you'll start seeing um, some snowy patches over here. So just keep running east. There should be a agility shortcut sign, which you do not want to take. Just keep running east. And it's kind of like a circle, so we'll start uh, needing to head south. You can also drink a dose of your stamina potion as well. So just keep running south, and you'll keep running on the eastern side of this mountain. And here we go. You'll see a symbol on your sign here. And there's a person named Aretha, sorry. Uh, you want to speak to Aretha. Uh, just go through the dialogue and click the third option called I have read your book journey of souls go through the dialogue and click the first option and select yes go through all the dialogue until you finish the conversation with aretha so when you're done the dialogue what you want to do is you want to get to this building over here uh, it has like a prayer sign basically i just used the fairy ring code cis and then ran through this small little passageway over here just hugged the wall until i hit this southern eastern building right near the prayer sign so uh, once you get here you want to open up the door so i'll just turn the screen a little bit and climb up the stairs and then you want to go north and then you want to use the stairs to the eastern side here. And then what you want to do is you want to dig your spade and you should get a damaged soul bear. And because I've already done it before, uh, you'll get something in your inventory called the damaged soul bear. So now that you have the damaged soul bear, uh, the last thing you're going to need to do is go to the key master in the Taverly dungeon. So find your fastest way to get to the Taverly dungeon. Mine will be the Falador teleport. And then I'll just use the agility shortcut sign on the western side here and then run northwest to this dungeon. Like I said, you can also use a Taverly teleport and then just run south to the dungeon stairs. All right, so I just fast forward the clip and I ran to the dungeon sign. So uh, when you do get here, what you wanna do, you can drop all your books because you don't need them anymore. Uh, you can also go ahead and wear your anti-dragon shield and uh, you wanna climb down the ladder. Pretty simple. And like I said, if you have 70 agility, you can use this obstacle pipe right over here. If you have 80 agility, you can go ahead and use this strange floor agility sign over there. And you just need to run north through the Hellhounds. But uh, for the people that don't have 70 or 80 agility, I'll just show you guys how to navigate through the dungeon. So what you want to do when you get here, go ahead and drink a dose of your stamina potion and open up the prison door on the eastern side there. And just kind of spam click the prison door to get through. So I'll just keep turning the screen a little bit. And now you want to open up that gate and then run through this southern passage over here. So keep running east. And there will be a small break in the path. What you want to do is run south. And there will be another agility shortcut sign that you can use. Uh, if you have 63 agility, you can squeeze through those loose railings. But if you don't have 63 agility, you can just keep running south. And you'll see a small break in this passage in this gray room here. Just keep running near the lava. Keep running west. You'll see some scorpions, you'll see some chaos dwarves as well. And what you want to do is you want to run past this bridge and then run north. And like I said, if you don't have the dusty key, you can run, keep running south into the Black Knight's fortress base and then go kill the jailer, like I said already. But if you have the dusty key already, just keep running north. And you'll see some lesser demons. They won't do too much damage to you, so I uh, used your dusty key on the gate over here. I'll let that guy go through first. And you'll enter the blue dragon's room. So like I said, make sure to have your anti-dragon shield wielded. And then you can run west. Keep running west. And then you'll see a break in the path. Just run south. And that was where the entrance was. If you had 70 agility, you could have went right through here. And then you'll see some fishing signs. Just keep going through. 
you'll see some black demons as well. They won't do too much damage to you, uh, but just keep running north. <laughs> just when I said that, it hit a 16 on me. And here are where the poison spiders are at. So if you do get poison, you can drink a dose of your anti-poison, but the poison effect only lasts for like maybe 30 seconds. So it's not that scary at all. Run north past the hellhounds until you hit this dungeon sign right over here. So what you want to do is crawl through the cave. So when you're inside the cave, what you want to do is you want to run up north until you find the yellow NPC right in the middle. Speak to the key master and go through all the dialogue. And there will be a weird little animation, but he will fix your damaged soul bear. And now you will have the completely fixed soul bear. So there we go, guys. So the bear your soul mini quest is complete. And you'll have this new item called the soul bear, which is very useful for slayer tasks. So the soul bear can hold up to a maximum of 1000 charges. And each time you send an ensouled head to your bank, it requires one charge and one charge basically costs one blood rune and one soul rune so to fully charge the soul bear it will require 1000 blood runes and 1000 soul runes but of course you can use less you can use like 300 blood runes 300 soul runes to have 300 charges in your soul bear but like i said it's very useful for slayer tasks for things that drop a lot of ensouled heads like fire giants or abyssal demons uh, i usually bring this for those type of tasks but anyways that is it for this barrier soul mini quest if it did help you out, please leave a like. That would really help me out. But that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.